Hi, I'm Yusuf Urluoğlu. After talking about basics of uh, CNC machines and CAM axis, now uh, we will uh, talk about any CAM work is defining. At first, uh, when we open a part, it can be opened in gateway or in modeling. If you have a modeling license, it will open modeling, uh, but if you don't have, it will be opened in gateway. Uh, how we change to manufacturing? File manufacturing first uh, step or uh, CTRL plus ALT plus M or in new uh, ribbon bar application and manufacturing. The upper window uh, doesn't interest us. We will uh, look at down window. Build planner if we make operations about uh, two and a half uh, cam, we will uh, use it. If we uh, will do three axis machining, we will use this. If we will make simultaneous five axis or four axis operations, we will use this. Uh, in aviation parts like impeller and blisks, we will use mill multi blades. Mill rotary is for uh, four axis. Uh, but we we use four axis operations with multi axis. Hole making is for drilling and hole machining. Turning is for turning. Wire EDM. Probing is for uh, on CNC probing. Solid tool is for making a solid tool. Work instructions is for shop documentation. First, I uh, I want to tell you about mill contour track machining. We choose mill contour and click OK. We uh, click to the plus and open the workpiece. There are some views. Geometry view. Uh, in geometry view, you see geometries. In program order view, uh, you, you can classify uh, the uh, operations, for example, rough or finishing. In machine tool view, you see the tools, and in machining method view, uh, you use uh, you use this. Uh, there, there are some templates. You use it uh, for uh, automatic values. For example, if you uh, make a make an operation and uh, drag it uh, under mill rough. You get a one millimeter part stock and dot uh, 08 uh, machine tolerance. We will always work in geometry view. Okay, uh, let's define the workpiece. To define the workpiece, we double clicked, double left click to the workpiece or right click and edit. Specify part is our end part. Uh, when you click it, solid uh, it changes to automatically to the solid body. Uh, but if you want, if you are working with phases or surfaces, you choose phase and you can work with it. I generally work in solid body. You choose it, and it becomes red. And if you have a part more than one. You uh, click to add new sets and uh, choose more parts, and you click OK. You define a blank geometry uh, from here. There are some types on it. First, geometry. If you have a solid defines blank 
you choose this uh, offset from parts uh, when you click when you write here for example three uh, millimeters you have a blank uh, that offset it in all phases about three millimeters in bounding block uh, you have a bounded block uh, on the edge of the parts and you can give an offset to uh, to it bounding cylinder it's for uh, cylindrical parts it works like bounding block part outline it's for extruded parts you can machine and extruded parts uh, and you can use this blank command for it you choose a direction specify vector and choose the x and y x and vector It is an extruded blank according to uh, XM vector. Part convex hull is a uh, more rough extruded body according to the uh, according to others. I recommend to use the geometry a uh, solid uh, blank, solid blank because uh, you will use it for positioning in our next video. I click OK for now and we will create a, a blank a solid blank. If you have modeling modeling license you can use extrude for creating a blank okay you can write here the exact value or you can do by bounding body Its name was bonding box in NX9. It changed its name by bond body. How it works? I choose all the phases and it creates a bonding block. But it's a real uh, solid block, not like our uh, blank option. You click here and write a value and it offsets it. Uh, if you click single offset, it's, uh, it gives an offset to all edges. We click, we write two on it. Okay. We created our block uh, and we can hide it for a bit for better use. CTRL plus B or this button. Okay, we are turning to manufacturing again. We open workpiece, click specify blank, and CTRL plus shift plus B, show heights, and choose the blank. And okay, we we uh, 
click to CTRL shift and B to return in specify check we choose uh, a voice or a fixture uh, that uh, on it there there shouldn't be any tool pads we choose from here in part of sets when we write down for example two it offsets the parts in all phases this uh, choice carbon steel or uh, high speed steel or aluminium doesn't change the tool pad creation uh, but in a automatic uh, feed and speed menu there is an automatic uh, feed and speed definition feed and speed library you can find a video on it uh, about it on my channel uh, it is used uh, in uh, in that option we click ok now we have defined our part and blank it's the first step of uh, all cam operations like NX. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.